folks, welcome to our next gang building video. This time we're taking a look at the new Space Marine Company Heroes box set from Gang's Workshop. I'm going to show you how to use these five models to build an incredibly tough war band for Aeon, the Gang Flight sci-fi setting. If you're new here, please take a second to like and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. Now, if you haven't heard of Gang Fight before, this is our universal skirmish rule set that lets you play skirmish battle games with any models you want in just about any setting you can think of. The rules are simple and quick to learn and allow for tons of customizing. You can also easily build your own war bands with our online gang builder. Just go to our website at gangfightgames.com and click get the rules and then click gang builder. It's easy, it does all the math for you so you can build your characters quickly. So let's take a look at these models. Since they're company heroes and supposed to be the best of the best, I gave them lots of upgrades. To make things a little easier to read in the video, I created these cards. You'll be able to download these from our patron, and I'll put a link in the description below. So here's the captain. He's a hero level character, so his stats will be higher than the others. First thing to mention is instead of going with the standard human stat line for these models, I decided to create my own humanoid race with aggressive and oversized abilities. So I took the oversized ability because all of these models are on 40 millimeter bases and the oversized gives you the large and in charge perk for free which means they'll count as large models to match the base size and they also cause fear which I thought would be good for these huge super soldiers. Since this is the leader of the warband he also gets the leader ability which allows him to give his action points that he's not going to use to other friendly models within 16 inches. For armor, they're all going to wear power armor, of course, and since they're the company heroes, I gave them extra equipment for their armor. So everyone will have a targeting upgrade, stabilizers, and a comms upgrade. And I'm also giving them all frag grenades just because. So to represent his power sword, I gave him an energy weapon and also a gnaw pistol. Gnaw stands for narrow amplitude wave ammo, which is an ammo type in Aeon that's designed to knock back and knock down normal sized models. And this forces the enemy model to have to use an extra action point to stand back up. I thought this would be good for bolt weapons that are supposed to pack a heavy punch. And he's also got countermeasures that make him a lot harder to hit with ranged weapons. And for perks, he has Natural Born Killer and Lightning Reflexes to increase his stats a little. And also Vengeance that allows him to hit multiple targets in melee combat. Next up, we have the Champion. He's an Operative, which allows him to use action points to re-roll a test if you want to. He's also got the same power armor upgrades, and for his sword, I gave him an energy great weapon. And for the perks, he's got natural born killers and lightning reflexes. Here's the ancient. He's the guy with the big battle standard. However, we don't really have any kind of gear that we can give him to represent that. So he's basically just a regular marine that looks extra cool. So I made him an operative, like the champion. He's got a gnaw pistol as well, which can be used for melee attacks, and a gnaw marksman rifle. For perks, he's got Marksman and Lightning Reflexes. Next we have the Marine with the Bolt Rifle. He's the guy with the big metal fist. He'll be just like the Ancient, but rather than making him an operative, he's a veteran. Vets get the Hardened ability, which allows them to re-roll missed dice on Bravery Test. And he's also got a Gnaw Pistol and Marksman Rifle. Last but not least, we have the Marine carrying a heavy boulder. He's essentially the same as the Marine with the Bolt Rifle, we're just swapping that out for a Gnaw Light Machine Gun instead. It has a higher range and rate of fire, so I thought that would represent the Heavy Boulder better. And that's pretty much it. You have an extremely tough and incredibly hard to kill 5-man warband, bringing in at around 950 points. You could easily add in a few regular Marines and some other special characters, like maybe an Apothecary. If you'd like to pick up the Space Marine Company Heroes box set, I'll leave a link in the description, but I'm sure you'll be able to find them at your local game shop too. So thanks very much for checking us out. We'll be doing at least one video like this each week, so feel free to subscribe if you want to see more, and if you have any special requests, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll check them out. Thanks, and see you next time.